Welcome back. In this video, we'll look at the power of imagination to communicate with your subconscious mind. Let's go. I want you to consider this quote. Every time there is a conflict between your willpower and your imagination, it's always your imagination that's going to win. I find this quote to be incredibly powerful because it is incredibly true. Now, if you were to just close your eyes and imagine that you're eating your favorite cake, right? You can imagine the taste. You can even salivate. You can feel the excitement. You can feel your stomach just getting ready for, you know, eating that goodness. But at the same time, you can have the thoughts of telling yourself, well, there's no cake. Stop salivating. Stop getting excited. And yet your body still continues to respond as if it's happening now. And that is what this quote means. It means that between our imagination and our willpower, our imagination always wins. So why is this important? Because too often we try to use our willpower, our thoughts, our rational thinking to change our subconscious mind. And we miss the point. We miss the point that our, you know, our willpower is really a faculty of the conscious mind. And that even though it's important, it's only going to take us so far. On the other hand, it seems that imagination is not only a conscious mind faculty, but also one that the subconscious mind works with in our dreams, in the symbols, in the way we communicate. And it's really, really fascinating to notice how poorly and how undisciplined we are in the use of our imagination. Because our favorite time to use imagination is to create the worst case scenario or to worry or to get anxious or to create some nonsense of drama in our own life. And that's why we say we suffer more in imagination than in reality. It's a bit of a shame that we are using our greatest power to communicate with our subconscious mind and tell really our subconscious mind what we want and use that power to overcome our challenges, our problems, find solutions, and even manifest the things that we want. But we are so poor at communicating what we really want to our subconscious mind that instead we use our imagination to communicate the things that we don't want and making it actually harder, more anxious, more worried, more tired, instead of creating you know, the situation that is actually more supportive for us. And the challenge is that even though we know now we could say that, okay, my imagination contribute directly into affecting my subconscious mind and therefore my future behaviors and therefore my future results. We have very little willpower, ironically, to stop that in a process. Because it seems like we use all our willpower to argue with the crazy noise that goes on in those imaginations. So let's say you are imagining the worst case scenario right? Your thoughts are going to tell you it's not happening now, stop worrying, this is it's going to be okay, you're good. And we, we, we waste all that mental energy trying to rationalize ourselves out of that imagination, <laughs> right? That, that imaginative movie or picture we created, that we miss the point completely. It's not about arguing about that negative movie, it's really about stopping that mental movie and replacing it with a new movie, a new picture, because that is how we're going to communicate something different to our subconscious mind, something that's going to bring relief, something that's going to bring an invitation, an invitation for a solution, for an idea, for a thought, for something that helps us move forward in this situation. So we get it twisted. Now, really, we have to really become more entrepreneur, in, the, in our own way of how our own mind work, in the inner engineering of our own lives. Because as long as we unconsciously continue to create things through our meaningless imagination and meaningless pictures in our mind, it's then very difficult to expect anything to really change fundamentally in our life or to really become conscious creator or to really have that big moment, that big breakthrough, that big, you know, self-mastery moment that so many of us are, you know, looking for because we remain prisoners of the old pictures of our life, of the old stories, the old memories, the old thoughts, the old 
old, old, old things that keep on perpetuating certain patterns, certain energies, and certain behaviors, and therefore certain results. So the most powerful way to communicate with your subconscious mind is through your imagination, but through the conscious use of your imagination, because imagine just how much further ahead you could be in your life just today if you spent a whole day becoming consciously aware of the you know, the pictures and the movies you create in your life and you keep on focusing on what you want. Imagine the effects of something so powerful to your subconscious mind where you give it by clarity exactly what I want and then trust that infinite power to get you over there. So this is my thought, guys, on how to communicate with our subconscious mind using the power of imagination. I'll see you next time. As always, feel free to like, share and subscribe. Be well.